I've been having some fun this last week and it's had nothing to do with rocks, some rock ingredients maybe, but um, these are wonderful little alcohol ink um, pumpkins. And then these are butternut squash and I'm going to resin them for you today. I'm gonna to talk a little bit about how I made these. Um, so you can get these at your local grocery store. These were a buck 99 at Safeway. Um, you know, prices may vary depending on what you could find out there, but they're adorable. I love them because of their long stems. So that's what attracted me to them. And then what I did is I just diluted, I'm sure everybody has some white laying around. It doesn't have to be gloss. If you have flat, use flat. It does not matter. And you're just going to mix this um, kind of one-to-one -one ratio with water. And all you're doing with that is making the white base to go all over this pumpkin. And the reason you do that is then you're just going to take your alcohol inks in whatever colors you choose. Again, no rhyme or reason to what I do. Here's a red one here, as you can tell. Um, and then you just sprinkle the alcohol ink all over it randomly. You can pour it down the veins of the pumpkin if you choose to, or just randomly splatter. And then, um, and you're gonna do this on a paper plate because alcohol ink will stain everything, including your hands. So you might want to wear gloves when you're doing it. You're gonna sprinkle it all over and then set it out and let it dry. Um, and then you're gonna come back and sprinkle it with your gold if you have it. That really just puts some really nice um, highlights to the pumpkin. And then you're gonna take the same clear coat spray that you use for your rocks. You're gonna spray the pumpkin down with it and let it dry. And then once it dries, then you'll come in and you'll resin it. Okay, so that's all you have to do for the pumpkins. And then for the butternut squash, Kind of same thing. I did a one-to-one -one, um, ratio of white paint and water just to give it a coating all over. And then I went back over it with a second heavier coating of white with a little bit of, I used a tiny bit of metallic blue. Let me show you. Um, this is the metallic blue that I mixed in with it. Um, I got this at Walmart. It's folk art. It's no big deal, but I just mixed it and that just gave it kind of dulled the white out because I didn't want it to be really, really bright. From there, I took a black Posca or Posca, however you want to say it. I slaughter words all the time and I colored in the eyes and mouth and the little area there where he is holding the pumpkin um, under his sleeve. I painted that in with black. Then I came back in with this and a paintbrush, um, and I just painted the little lines so it kind of looked like he had lines in his sheet. Then I used this um, Deco Art one right here. Let me see, where are my glasses? I am blind, people, I apologize. Okay, so if you wanna know, this is the Americana, and it's Canyon Orange is the color that I used. Once the canyon orange dried, then I came back in with color shift and just threw in some lines on the pumpkin. And this one here is red color shift, again at Walmart, no problem. And then I took this glitterific, which is, it's the new glitter that Walmart has, it's by Folk Art. And this one is the clear hologram one. And this I just put all over it. And now I'm gonna come in and I'm going to resin them. So if you haven't resin before, and if you have resin and you're afraid of it, stop it, you're gonna be fine. Okay, so the resin that I live and die by is art resin. And you can get it in a number of um, sizes. Um, you can get it off Amazon, just start there until you start you know, using more. Um, the larger ones I got off of Blick, Sometimes Blick is less expensive, sometimes Amazon is, it just depends. And with the art resin, it's just equal parts. So if you use two ounces of this, you're gonna use two ounces of this. Everything I do today, I'm gonna to use this much resin. And I am going to do two squash, two pumpkins, and four rocks, and I'm probably still gonna have leftover resin. I'm sure I used too much resin already. So what we're gonna do is put on gloves, Excuse my dog hacking in the background. 
is old. Okay, so we are just going to, I think I'm gonna do my pumpkins first and get them out of the way. So you're just gonna pour a little bit of resin on them and you're just gonna smooth it around. This resin, um, it takes about six to eight hours to dry. So you just smooth it all over. Again, make sure your alcohol inks are dry before you do that or you're gonna end up with a smeared colored pumpkin instead of what you want. And that one's done. So we're gonna move on to the next one here. And I love using this nail bed. Um, for my rocks specifically, but these pumpkins, I'm setting them here for now, but I am gonna move my pumpkins to parchment paper because um, they get better sealed on the bottom. And that's really important. With the resin on the pumpkins, you can end up with a little bit of lifting and pulling away if it isn't flat, flat on the bottom. So I will be moving these after I show you this video of how to do this. Okay, now we're gonna move on to a squash. I think these little butternut squash are so cute. I did some for my son's um, fall carnival um, to help with their silent auction and, and they were really, really well received. Um, so here we go, just pushing that over and you can see the hologram glitter on it. It will be super, super cute when it's all dry. Okay, move on to the next one. I know a lot of you have purchased the resin and you're just sitting on it and you're afraid to use it. Do not be afraid, it is so user-friendly. Um, I mean, you know, just equal parts. It's, it's, it's amazing how easy it is. When you pour the equal parts, you stir for three minutes with a popsicle stick. Okay. This one's looking good too. Now I'm just gonna move on and finish up with um, some rocks I have here. And like I said, these will be done in six to eight hours. And then I just put little um, tags on them that say you've been booed. So instead of people getting, you know, a bag, a bucket of cobwebs and trinkets and everything else that you're running all over town looking for and spending a bunch of money on. I'm just doing these. These probably equate to the same amount of money, but I just love how unique they are. And these are just some poured rocks that I had left over from last week, so I'm just doing these now since, again, I have plenty of resin here probably use too much resin. You don't need a lot. Resin goes a long, long way. And I've also spilt resin and had it harden on my countertop. And if that happens, you can remove it with acetone. You just keep scrubbing it with acetone and you can get it removed. So do not be afraid. Jump in and um, and start using resin. Oh gosh, I'm really not doing too well here. I'm trying to make room for this other rock over here that I have. Once you start using resin, you are truly going to fall in love with um, the beautiful sheen that it is going to leave for your rocks. This was a very ugly rock here. <laughs> it had been sitting out back with black on it for some time and it was just one of those rocks that I, I just asked myself, why did you even bring it home from the rock, hoard, rock yard? But I did. And so I just wrote, be a little bolder on it. And I'm gonna throw some resin on it and I'll throw it out there and somebody's gonna get it. And I guarantee you with the message rocks, we run into people all the time that say, oh my gosh, I really needed this message. This really spoke to me today. And you think to yourself, wow, I scribbled that on a rock, but I'm so glad that it made a difference to somebody. All right, guys, I hope I covered everything and showed you all the um, steps and ingredients that you would need to use. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask me. I am an open book. Um, you know, this is kind of a new brainchild of mine. I could care less if you go out and make a thousand of them. Um, I, I really think that art is all about sharing. 
And um, you know, the more the merrier. You're gonna give this to somebody and that's gonna make them happy. And if I was a star to that, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm so happy for you. All right, have a good day, everybody.